Today I'm going to be doing a little upgrade to my helmet uh, setup to install these additional wires here which will enable me to to record on my GoPro footage the Cardo intercom so I can get both myself and anybody else that's on the intercom uh, recorded on the video. Uh, here you can see the inside of my helmet never mind all that white stuff that's the black paint that's been pulled off from me uh, using electrical tape to stick down the wires like I've got here uh, and then removing it afterwards and it pulls the, the uh, <laughs> it pulls the paint off but anyway I've got my speakers as you can see installed there and I've got my uh, microphone this is the microphone here it's kind of dark uh, micro one microphone for the uh, here for the GoPro and this other microphone is for the intercom uh, so basically what I'm going to be doing is uh, tapping into this connection. I've got a Y connection here um, already, but that was for something else. I'm going to remove that and put uh, what I've got here is uh, a Y connection. I've got this expensive attenuator uh, cable here that's going to reduce the, the microphone uh, input by 30, as much as 35 decibels. And this here is a stereo splitter. So all of this has got to be hooked up. And hopefully uh, I'll put up a diagram uh, to show how they're all hooked up together uh, so that you can get an idea if you wanted to do this yourself. Um, but basically it's going to it's gonna uh, allow me to record my Cardo audio. You want the cables to be as short as possible because there's not a lot of space inside the helmet. Uh, on the splitter cable, you can see there are two, uh, they're labeled uh, tip and ring. Tip is black, ring is red. That'll make sense a little bit later. Uh, on the attenuator cable, one end is camera and the other end is line level. Okay. And on the splitter, uh, it's just a straight uh, uh, male to two females. And <clears throat> in every case, you want it to be TRS. Okay. TRS, not TRRS. So that's similar to that and similar to this. Okay. Typically, the speakers are plugged into the comm unit right here. But instead now what you want to do is you want to first connect the new splitter back into the uh, female of the comms unit. With that done, we'll take the headphone here, or the speakers, and plug it into one of the females that are, of the splitter that I just installed. With that done, this is what you should have. And you should have one female port remaining, and that's where the attenuator cable will be plugged in using the line level end. So plug this here. With that done, you've got a free end of the attenuator cable and you're gonna plug that into the red side of the breakout cable, which is ring. And now you've got that remaining black port there and that is what the uh, microphone that goes to the camera will be plugged into. And on my, my helmet setup, this is the microphone here that goes to the camera. So now you've got the connections all made. Here you can see the splitter is connected. The microphone to the camera is connected here to the splitter. And the splitter has got these two connections as previously noted. And I've run it on the outside right now. So the drawback with this method uh, is that there's so many wires that you're going to have. And plus the splitter is kind of short. So it's going to have to go on the outside of your helmet. That's the drawback. Before I used to have my motor vlogging set up all inside the helmet. But now this is going to be on the outside. I've got this electrical tape holding this down here temporarily uh, uh, until I get everything buttoned up inside the helmet and then I'll just, you know, button this down properly. But what you can see is I did here is I've made this connection watertight. 
and you want to make sure that uh, all your connections are are taped up and not only watertight but uh, so they don't have any movement because uh, if there's movement then they'll be static so this is connected to my my camera and i'm gonna go finish off putting back in my my pads and stuff and hopefully everything will fit and there will be no bumps inside my head uh you know on my scalp we'll see so i've got my cheek pads put back in and i installed the cardo pack top bolt put back my chin curtain but before i did i put the chin curtain back on I test fitted it on my head just to see if there were any pressure points and luckily there are none. All the wires are just dumped in there and uh, <laughs> no problems. Everything has gone back uh, nicely and the side of the helmet, well, like I said, this is a temporary arrangement. Um, you know, I've got to, I'm going to tape up this as well uh, and then run the cord a little bit neater than this. Uh, probably something like that, you know. It's to, to, to form to the shape of it and then push this wire back down. But right now I'm gonna do a sound check with my wife. Uh, she's downstairs in the living room and we're gonna test this thing out. Guys, if you hear any kind of static in the background, that's, uh, that's a different issue and I've got to resolve that. But um, Donna, what do you say? Just just talk in the normal, in the normal level. Okay, so it's Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm testing the <laughs> audio on my microphone for my dear husband. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the sound check using the GoPro now because I wasn't recording in stereo on the Insta 361 RS. So Donna, do your thing. Okay. So, here I am at home Saturday morning, testing the audio for the... Calm system. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. That should be good enough. Okay. All right. So, this is the sound check using the GoPro now because I wasn't recording in stereo on the Insta361 RS. So, Donna, do your thing. Okay, so here I am at home Saturday morning testing the audio for the comm system. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks. That should be good enough. Okay, so this is the sound check number two with the GoPro. And I just switched the, uh, the microphone gain such that it's the standard microphone plus. So I think that in the GoPro that there's a 20 decibel gain on this uh, mode. So Donna, could you say something? Testing, testing. Oh. Two, three, testing, testing. Is that your normal level of uh, speaking? Think so. Okay. Um, aside from the crackling that we're hearing, you're so coming through really nicely. So, you just got to get rid of the crackling. But, uh, okay, thanks. That's all I need. One of the things that we're testing is Donna's new helmet. And uh, also, this new intercom recording setup. We're on the tracer because uh, I want uh, a quieter bike to test the sound, the sound levels. So what do you think, Donna, so far? Helmet okay? Um, yes. Can you hear me? I have my visor open a little. Okay. Because well, so I can tell you, with your visor open a little bit, I'm hearing you much better than the other helmet with the visor similarly open. Good. Yeah. I, uh, it's not pinching my cheeks too much, but I can feel the pressure there. Uh huh. And yeah. Well, it's a uh, brand new helmet. Yeah. It feels good. Um, I can still hear a little bit of that uh, feedback, that crackling, like. Um, you want me to close the mic? No, 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 no. I don't want you to close the visor. I, I want you to, uh, to, to to use the helmet just like you know, as you normally would. 
to be comfortable because that's what all the uh, that's what the test is all about. Well, when we get up to speed, I guess uh, I might oh. see a difference in how I hear you. That's right, and I just forgot. I should have gone on that uh, freeway there so, to get to get some speed up. Damn. Okay, I'll still I'll still join it up ahead. Now we're gonna go on to the 249, which is a uh, 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 freeway. Uh, just for a brief uh, stint, I'm going to close my visor down. Uh, you can close your visor down, Donna. And we're going to see how it sounds. Now the tracer has got its small windshield on right now, so this is the noisiest that the tracer is going to be. And right now we are cruising at just about 75. Watch out for that sign. Yeah. Smoking woman, do you have your visor closed? Yes. I'm Can hearing. You hear me? I'm hearing no. you very well. You okay. Ah. Is it? Right. Well, the thing is, not only that, but it's got the uh, the little tab for closing on the side, which. Uh, you know, it's not the most efficient for closing, for snapping shut, but uh, you get used to it. Uh, but I forgot to check my uh, on Oh, I think they're all, oh, maybe that's why, they're all closed. I got them open now. Oh, okay. I'm still hearing you great, much better than the other helmets, okay? Uh, how are you hearing me? And I'm hearing you very well. There's no... Uh, oh. You know, I, and you, you used to sound like those old radio shows. Yeah. With a noise. I yeah. don't know how to explain it. But. Yeah. Well, this just goes to show that it's the helmet because it's the same comp system as before. Exactly the same except for the button microphone. So if you're hearing me better, it means that this is a, a quieter helmet. And you're hearing me better because it's a quieter helmet. Because I am I am in the in the full blast of the, the air, the breeze in front. I'm in the full slipstream and you're hearing me better than before. I can still hear the there's a little bit of uh, noise, yeah. but it's, it's not uh, this, yeah. um, what's the, distorting right. your voice. Right. Well, don't forget, uh, I've got this small, tiny windscreen in front here. Um, when I put the big windscreen up, oh, you'll, it, it'll be like total quiet for you, in a sense, you know? Comparatively speaking, it'll be so quiet. So this is not worst, this is the worst case scenario in terms of wind. So after today's uh, test ride, my electrical tape let go. <laughs> and remember I said I've got to uh, do something about this. Well, I've got these um, shrink wrap uh, pieces. We'll see if we can put that on there and heat it up, shrink it on. And then uh, this arrived today. This is the gaffer tape. Beautiful stuff. Never had gaffer tape before. And uh, we'll put that on that showy helmet. See how it looks. Pretty darn good job on the shrink wrap. On the heat shrink, I should say. That looks pretty professional. <laughs> but all of this is gonna be hidden up, hidden by the uh, gaffer tape. And there's the finished product. I know it's kind of ugly, but uh, it's a lot better than it could be. Hmm. The black gaffer tape, I kept putting pieces of tape on, and uh, this is stuck to the back here. Um, I've got to do a little bit better job uh, of tucking it in the back. This is how it looks, it just comes in here. I've got to take up a little bit more slack here. But uh, this wire here is now just tucked in here, so that's good. But yeah, um, this gaffer tape is supposed to be waterproof. Uh, I don't know how it'll handle the next monsoon, but um, we'll see.